At a pre-dinner gathering at Houghton Hall, where each ambassador Antony Horowitz delivered a speech, the Duke and Duchess were welcomed by their hosts for the evening, the Marquis and Marchioness of Chumley, as well as some of the appeal sponsors and volunteers. The Duchess originally donned the stunning dress five years ago, when she added a bit of glitz to a charity dinner at Kensington Palace in honour of the 10th annual Absolute Return for Kids. She matched the over £3,000 dazzling dress with a pair of style LK Bennett heels that were also nude. Kate added a modest silk Prada box clutch as an accessory, holding it in place while sipping wine. But the Duchess's chandelier diamond earrings, which the Queen lent her that she wore to her first state dinner with the Chinese president and his wife in October, added an extra touch of high splendor. Prince William chose a classic black tuxedo with a dicky bow. Kate was attending a lavish gala dinner at magnificent Houghton Hall with her husband, Prince William, in support of East Anglia's children's hospices, each, a charity for which she serves as patron. Five renowned chefs with Michelin stars, Galton Blackiston, Jean Baines, Claude Bossy, Tom Courage, and Mark Edwards, created and prepared a special five-course meal. William has to put up with my food most of the time, Kate stated, implying that her husband was looking forward to a break from her cooking during the event. During the reception hosted at Houghton House, the amiable Duchess had plenty of time to converse with her respected guests. At the gala, David Chumley, Marquess of Chumley, and Rose Chumley, the Marchioness of Chumley, welcomed Prince William and Kate. The Jefford brothers, Sam Aldersey Williams, and magician Archie Manners provided musical entertainment during the champagne reception that kicked off the evening. After supper, the Each Treehouse Chorus had a performance and parent Charlotte Markham gave a speech. When Charlotte's son Elliot passed away, at the age of just a few hours old, each in Ipswich provided care and support for her and her family. Emma Deterding, an Each patron and the event's organiser, said, Having supported Each for more than 25 years, I am honoured to be a part of something so inspiring. Since the movement's inception in the 1980s, I have personally witnessed how amazing and significant it has become. The charitable Kate serves as the royal patron of each, an organisation that assists families and cares for children and teenagers in the counties of Cambridgeshire, Essex, Norfolk and Suffolk who have life-threatening illnesses. Their family-centred approach includes specialised nursing care, assistance for symptom management, well-being activities, therapy, and counselling, all of which cater to the specific needs of the child or young person as well as the needs of the entire family.